It's Friday night, so we take you now to Duffy's Tavern, starring Archie himself, Ed Gardner. <laughs> Duffy's Tavern is brought to you by Bristol Myers, makers of Vitalis and Minute Rub, two products that will pay you to remember. Minute Rub, modern chest rub, Vitalis for well-groomed hair. Minute Rub, Vitalis. Hello, Duffy's Tavern. Where do you late meet the eat? Archie, the man just speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, by the way, we got two more Christmas cards tonight. Well, one from uh, Colucci, the fruit peddler. Yeah, very pretty card, too. It's got his coat of arms. Two crossed bananas with a tomato rampant in the background. <laughs> Yeah, and the other one's from Cavendish, The Undertaker. Yeah, it says, wishing you a joyous and merry Christmas and a short but happy New Year. <laughs> P.S. Drop in and see our new Christmas wrappings. <laughs> yeah, you ought to be here, Duffy. Already the joint is reeking with Christmassy odor. Yeah, we're even putting on a show tonight, The Christmas Carol. What's well, an old play by Charles Dickens? Dickens. As in, go to D. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, the guy's a very famous writer, Duffy. wrote uh, David Copperfield, the uh, Picnic Papers. Uh... <laughs> that other one about the dame, you know. Uh, uh, Oliver's Twist. <laughs> well, look, Duffy, I'm busy now. I gotta rewrite the Christmas Carol. Yeah, well, I gotta fix it up, you know. Some of the grammar is a little old-fashioned. <laughs> I'll call you back, Duffy. Merry Christmas. Okay. Hey, Eddie. Uh, yes, sir. Look, it's Christmas, sir. Why do you say we kind of infest the joint with a little Christmas flavor? Mm. We've just put some mistletoes around and some holly wreaths, huh? Oh, we've practically got a holly wreath already. The customers at the bar is turning red, and the ones that just finished eating are turning green. <laughs> Eddie, will you cut out the whiz me? I'm serious. <laughs> Now, what could we do to make the joint a little more Christmassy? Uh, we could get a nice snow effect by whitewashing the sawdust. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Sure, and I could trot around under the table with a little cask of brandy tied around my neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be cute, like one of them St. Bernstein dogs. <laughs> Good old Christmas, sir. Uh, by the way, I wonder what uh, Duffy is going to give us for Christmas this year. Yeah, I wonder. Hey, you know, I kind of got my heart set on the Hope Diamond. <laughs> you hope, you hope, you hope. <laughs> what did he give you in last year again? A uh, monogram dustpan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. I remember that. Yeah. It makes a nice set with the monogram broom he gave me the year before. <laughs> Now, look, Eddie, don't be bitter. After all, Duffy ain't really such a bad guy. No, he ain't such a bad guy. No. 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 Well, so long, this is where I get off. Eddie, you better remember that Christmas dinner he gave us last year? The celery and the chestnuts and the cranberries. And the cover charge. <laughs> Ah, he was kidding. That big whole roast pig with the apple in its mouth. Uh, horse. <laughs> Hello, Finnegan. Where's the apple? Uh, uh, what apple? Uh, Skip, it's just a little picture you happen to conjure into my mind. Uh, Anyways, Merry Christmas to you, Finnegan. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Arch. Uh, by the way, uh, that brings up a subject. What? I'd like to ask you a question. Well, what's the question? Well, Arch, promise me you'll tell me the truth. I promise. Okay. Arch, is there a Santa Claus? <laughs> well, bless your heart, Finnegan. What brought this on? Uh, well, uh, I was over to Macy's this morning, and on the fifth floor, there was a tall, skinny Santa Claus, and, and I got down to the third floor, and there's a short, fat Santa Claus. Frankly, Arch, I'm beginning to smell a rat. <laughs> now, tell me, will you? Uh, look, I, I don't want to be no stool pigeon. I, I'd rather you'd ask somebody else. So, well, you? who am I going to ask, Arch? Oh, you asked me little brother Wilford, and he says there ain't no Chaney Claus, but what does he know? 
He's only a child. <laughs> Look, you, you put me in a very bad position. Well, you gotta tell me. I'm old enough to know. <laughs> And I'm going to find out sooner or later anyway. Then again, please, I'd rather that somebody... Oh, else... come on, Arch. You told me about the stork, didn't you? <laughs> Believe me, it, this is important to me. Well, why? Why is it so important? Well, I ain't smart enough to keep a job. I, I can't read, I can't write, I don't like girls, if there's no Santa Claus, what have I got to live for? Well, okay, Finnegan, you asked for it. You no. see, this Santa Claus thing started, uh, well, you see, there's the birds and the bees and the flowers. Yeah. And, Finnegan, turn your eyes the other way, will you? <laughs> That's better. Now you ask me if there's a Santa Claus. So prepare yourself, Finnegan. Go oh, ahead, Arch. I can take it. Finnegan, there is no... Arch! No truth to the rumor that there is no Santa Claus. No, no, no. Oh. There is a Santa Claus. Oh, boy, what a load of up in me mind. Santa Claus, did you come in? Mm. Uh, these are adults. <laughs> Hello? Oh, just a second. Eddie is your girlfriend, Sonia Jones. Oh, my. The first official sign of Christmas. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Sonia. And Merry Christmas. Huh? Sure, I love you, sugar. What you doing? Uh, is you alone, baby? <laughs> you know, ain't that a man's voice out here? <laughs> Oh, you're listening to the news on the radio. I just saw you. How long has Gable Heater been calling you, honey? <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm, I'm just suspicious. Yeah, baby. I know I'm always in your heart. Yeah. But, honey, who's that that's always in your apartment? <laughs> Well, Merry Christmas, honey. Yeah. Uh, by the way, extend the season's greetings to Gable Heater for me. Well, it's bad news tonight. <laughs> Look, Eddie, why do you let that Sonia kick you around like this? What are you, man or your mouse? Pass the cheese. <laughs> hey, Archie. Oh, hello, Miss Duffy. Hey, what's the matter with you today? Why? Well, you look even more battered than usual. <laughs> the way I feel. Gee, Archie, those department stores are terrible. You try to get near a counter and you take your life in your hands. They push you around, tear your stock and step on your toes, gouge your eyes out. Well, uh, what were you trying to buy? Nothing. I was just browsing. <laughs> well, that starts our conversation this evening on a nice idiotic basis. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, incidentally, I hear you're going to put on a Christmas show tonight. Yes. Well, uh, needless to say, you'll want me to sing. On the contrary, equally needless. <laughs> you and that foghorn falsetto. That off-color atura. <laughs> you are not going now, to... Now, listen here, you big dope. Look, Miss Duffy, leave us not fight tonight. It's the Christmas season, and I'm in too good a mood. In fact, I'm so happy, I'd like to kiss you. Hmm? Blindfolded, of course. <laughs> okay, you can sing in the show. Uh, Mr. Melnick. Yeah, I... Look, uh, we're gonna need some Christmassy background music for the show tonight. Are you equipped? We're loaded, Jackson. In what way, Phil? <laughs> How are you loaded? <laughs> I got a kid named Robert Maxwell that's murder on this Christmas stuff. A harp player. Harp player, huh? Good idea. Duffy will love it. <laughs> It's his native music. <laughs> okay, we'll put the kid in the show. Hey, Archie. Yes, Mr. Muller. Uh, can you use me in the Christmas show? Well, yeah, maybe you could announce it. Uh, give me a sample, for instance. What would you say? Well, I don't know. Maybe something like this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Duffy's Tavern takes great pleasure in presenting its Christmas show, starring that famous hair grooming preparation, Vitalis. Very good. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> 
Then I suppose you had in mind a ballet, maybe, where four men with tight, dry scalps dance around a bottle of vitality? <laughs> While the band plays hair, hair, the gang's all hair. Well, no, Archie. The orchestra would play, Here, here, Vitalis is almost here. Very sharp. Pull up your podium and pray continue. <laughs> well, yeah, pretty soon now, Vitalis will be back. Back to keep your dry, unruly hair well groomed. And without that plastered down patent leather shine. Yes, pretty soon you'll be able to use Vitalis and the 60-second workout to loosen your tight, dry scalp, route loose dandruff, and help prevent excessive falling hair. Shortages will soon be relieved, and then you'll be able to get original, genuine Vitalis, the hair grooming preparation that's been the standby of so many men for so long. Okay, Eddie, we're all set. Now give me that bung starter. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, each year we present our centennial Christmas show. <laughs> now, that moment has just become right. So, I want you all to enjoy the show. Applaud when you like. Be merry. Have laughs. In other words, feel free to vent your spleen in any way you wish. <laughs> so, without no further ado, leave us on with the show. Carry on, Mr. Miller. Thank you. <laughs> Duffy's Tavern brings you Christmas music. <laughs> Christmas drama. But Santa Claus, suppose my husband comes home and finds you here. <laughs> Christmas humor. Do you think we will have a white Christmas, darling? Well, it will if it don't rain, dear. <laughs> And now on with the show. For our first act this evening, we give you that beloved little entertainer, your waiter and mine, Eddie Green. To know him is to tip him. Take it, Eddie. Ah, uh, you better watch out. Better not cry. Better not pot. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming. Coming on down to Harlem Town. Oh, my. Hey! And you've got to find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming with his bag full of jive, Mr. Five by Five. Sees you when you're sleeping, and he knows how good you've been. So if you meet him face to face, Say, solid old man, give me some skin. <laughs> he's got no rain there, they ain't got no sweat. But he's on his way and he's coming instead on the actors of the people at the side of the hill. Thank you, thank you very much, Eddie Green. Now, for our next act, we reach into our Christmas grab bag and what do we pull out? None other than Mr. Robert Maxwell, the world's greatest harpist. Okay, Robert, uh, take us on a Miller side with a reach beat hubcap and send a solid with that old rip rap sad sack, kid. <laughs> okay, take it away, Robert Maxwell. <laughs> You gotta give the guy credit. He plays the thing with his bare hands. <laughs> what? Mrs. Duffy says she would like to have a little more Christmas schmaltz, huh? Okay, boss. <clears throat> Look, Matty, uh, can the uh, kid jive out a little more dig beat with a rip on the schmaltz side? What? Oh, I see him talking to a square. Uh, <laughs> 
up. He says he would like something a little more befitting to the occasion of the season. Well, how about White Christmas? Okay. Let him...